Students are gearing up for the drive to Fall Break destination. But it isn't a free ride. Gas in Burlington is 20 cents more expensive than it was two weeks ago. I talked to students about what these prices mean for their Fall Break travel plans. Um, before I would kind of fill up at like a half a tank, but now that prices are really high, I kind of resort to like the last minute when I need to get gas. Um, I'm driving back with a buddy of mine, so maybe he can help <laughs> aid for some of it. Um, but I'm just going to have to suck it up. And luckily I have a car with good gas mileage, so I hopefully won't have to fill up more than once. And then, I don't know, it's just going to suck for a while. It's definitely something I'm cognizant of. I try to like compare prices while I'm driving by, keep in mind like which, where it's cheaper, but if you gotta get there, you gotta get there. Hoping to just cover a tank of gas on the way there, and one of my other friends that's in the car is gonna cover on the way back um, to sort of give our friend a, that's driving a favor of not having to pay for her gas. Honestly, a little nervous, because obviously I'm a college student, so I don't have a ton of money, and Nashville's already expensive, so definitely like saving up specifically for the drive. Now, different students had different strategies. Some want to fill up before they hit the road. Others plan to go as far as they can before they need to refuel. To help you make your decision, we've compared gas prices around Elon and throughout the country. So here at Elon, Circle K across the street and Harris Teeter off South Sur Church Street are tied. Uh, BJ's in Burlington is a little less expensive, but you have to be a member to fill up there. So that is a good reminder. Now, the Rago in Burlington, it's um, off of Huffman, Huffman Mill Road. Uh, it is the cheapest there with $3.29. Now let's take a look at the greater North Carolina area. Greensboro gets a little bit more expensive, $3.50 there. Raleigh, just a few cents behind. And here in Charlotte, it is expensive uh, with $3.60 as to be expected in a bigger city. Now, if you are headed south, now you definitely want to fill up before you hit Charleston there. It's pretty expensive, $3.48. Uh, Columbia is a little less expensive. And then even cheaper if you're going all the way into Georgia. If you can make it all the way to Savannah, that is definitely a good call. Now, if you're headed up north, you can see that D.C. is the most expensive area that we looked at for this research. Um, so if you are headed north, make sure to fill up along the way before you reach the city. A place like Richmond is a great place to do that where gas is $3.46 a gallon. Now, if you're headed west towards Nashville, which is a very popular spot, especially for seniors this year to go on their fall break, um, the gas in the city itself is $3.60. Now, you can see on the map here, Nashville is uh, a little um, orange and all of this area over here is blue and that means that all of this area over here is less expensive than the orange part here in Nashville. So if you are going to make it to the city, we recommend that you fill up in any of this blue area before you get there because that will be less expensive. Now you also want to make sure that your car is in good shape, shape before you hit the road. We don't want any accidents. We want everyone to stay safe and have fun.